I don't want people earning £20,000 to pay the burden of Tory austerity. What I'm saying is people earning over £43,000 should they will shoulder pay that more price. of that burden. They will pay That's that price. That's how we... And, and the, what we're proposing will raise over the next parliament, an additional £2 no, billion. Not pounds. enough okay. Money that we can invest in our health service, wanna, money we can in invest others. in education, it's fair others. and but it's balanced. Let balance. me just ask you on the 50 pence point. Let me just ask you on the, the 50 sure. pence point. A year ago, less than a year ago, you were arguing Absolutely. for a 50p top rate of Across tax. The, Why not well, now, me, when, you, when you're about to inherit the power, should you be re-elected, sure. to it's a fair, introduce that it, it's in It's a Scotland. fair question. Let me set out the pragmatic reasons behind the decision. I've said we won't do it in the first year we have powers. I haven't ruled it out for the rest of the Parliament. And the reason for that is I've got independent civil service analysis right. saying it might lose us £30 million. Why is that the case? Because under devolution, unlike under independence, uh, yes, we'll get the power to set the tax rate, but we don't get the power to set the rules on tax avoidance. So what I've said is that I would ask, if I'm re-elected, ask the First Minister's Council of Economic Advisers to look at this on an annual basis to see if we can find ways of mitigating that risk so and we'll judge tempted. it in our budget every You'd year. You'd like to. I think there should be a 50 pence uh, top rate of tax, but you know you don't set tax rates if it's going to lose you money.